morning, dear viewers. Today we're going to be starting a brand new series called Julia vs. the Abstract Concept of Cooking. So today I'm going to make some pancakes, and if they're delicious, then I win, and if they are terrible, the Abstract Concept of Cooking wins. Uh, of course, I know how to make pancakes, so we're going to work our way up to more and more difficult foods, and hopefully during the course of this series, I will learn how to cook something more complicated than pancakes. So. Let's begin! Alright, the first thing you have to do is sift together the ingredients. So, here we go. Hold on. One cup of all-purpose flour. No, that's not true. I lied. It's one and a half cups. This is starting well. Alright. Done. Next, we have three and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Yes. I have to tell you, three and a half seems like a lot. So. I hope that's correct. Next, we have one teaspoon of salt. These are going to be some very salty pancakes. Alright, next, one tablespoon of sugar. ingredients, so let's sift this first. Next we have one and a quarter cups of milk. I have to tell you something, you guys. I didn't have any milk. But, I have goat yogurt, that's pretty much the same thing, right? I mean, it has milk in it, so... Next we have one egg. Okay, this is a hard boiled egg, that's not gonna work. Okay, let's try this one. An egg! Alright, what's next? One, no, three tablespoons of butter. My hands are covered in egg. Where's the butter? Alright. You know, whoever it was who decided to put like those lines, maybe you can't see it because it's blurry, but those lines that tell you how many tablespoons, it's genius. I forgot a knife. Alright, here it is. And that's all the ingredients. So let's start whisking. Let's try a new camera angle, too. Alright, here we go. I should probably get my whisk. You know what, I think I'm going to add some water. I think that every good pancake really has a bunch of water in it, right?
my arm is tired. That's when you're supposed to stop whisking, right? To the pen! You can't see my hand. To the pen! To the... Alright, here we go. We need to grease up the pan so that, uh, you know, the pancakes come off of it. Okay. Ah! Oh gosh, melty butter. Alright. Okay, that seems a little hot, so let's turn it down a bit. Alright. Here we go. The first pancake. If I kind of slouch, you can kind of see me. Ah! Oh gosh, my belt is actually stuck on the drawer. Hold on. All right, I went to close up so you can see. Do you see how the bubbles are staying open and not bubbling like that big rebellious one in the middle? That's how you know it's you know cooked on one on that side. So let's let's go for the big flip. That side looks a little, a little undercooked. I'm sure no one will notice. All right. I'm pretty sure that's not how you're supposed to butter the pan. And that was the final pancake! Good morning, disembodied mom. Good morning, Julia. <laughs> I have called you here today so you can be a representative for the abstract concept of cooking. It is an honor. You will notice before you a plate of pancakes. How do you see that? Uh, just, you know, try some and then tell me if I uh, cooked it good. And if I didn't, then I lose. Oh my god, not that one. No, just kidding. Do I pass? 
Honey, this is delicious. Thank you. Yes! Take that, the abstract concept of cooking.